Let's continue our team coverage now, bringing in Lonnie Quinn with more on this. Lonnie? Okay, it, there's some interesting, interesting stuff to talk about here. Because like Christina was telling us, at 545 is 1.7 in Queens. Also on the East Coast, Maryland, a little bit earlier in the morning, around 1 o'clock in the morning, had a 2.3. And there is a fault line that runs along the East Coast. In our area, all right, we refer to this as the Ramapo Fault, because it's right by the Ramapo Mountains. Uh, in New York City itself, now check this out. This I actually had to do some research on. Georgie was, you know, hitting the books and they're trying to find out what's going on in the city itself. All of these little thin red lines are fault lines in New York City itself. Now, they're very minor fault lines, uh, almost like a fissure, if you will, but yeah, I mean, you can see how all these pieces of the puzzle. Imagine like when that earth was like a, sort of a solid mass. You can see where they fit together, right? Well, the last big earthquake that we had in New York City was 1884. We had a 5.0. Now, they estimate that happens about once every 100 years, so we could be due for one, but a 6.0, Hardly ever. Once every 670 years, and then a big one like what they get in California, California-esque earthquake, 7.0s, they take place once every 3,400 years. So, for the most part, uh, I'm not going to be around for that one. Guys, it is all yours. <laughs> okay, we'll be I don't be think waiting. any of us are. Yes. Thanks, Lonnie. <laughs> Thank you, Lonnie. Well, as Christina mentioned, the last recorded activity centered in our area was back in 2001. The U.S. Geological Survey shows that a 2.4 magnitude quake was recorded around 105th Street and 3rd Avenue on January 17th. And then October 27th, a 2.6 magnitude quake was recorded on West 95th Street and Columbus Avenue. But the last quake that really caused fear around here was on August 23rd, 2011, when a magnitude 5.8 quake centered in Virginia was felt across the East Coast. And video from that day shows people evacuating buildings and apartments here. And the Manhattan DA was holding a news conference when the building started to shake. Oh. Okay. So, no, no, okay, okay, okay. And we looked straight ahead and we saw the windows going like this. So we was like, okay, it's time to leave. Uh, to leave. The earthquake also briefly stopped operations at New York and Philly airports, but there were no injuries or major damage reported in our area. And we do have continuing coverage on our website, plus an extended view over Roosevelt Island from Chopper 2. That's all at CBSNewYork.com.